Hi, I'm Alan Pope, developer advocate on Telegraph at Influx Data. I'm Maya, I'm a software engineer on Telegraph at Influx Data. And today we're going to talk about getting data into Telegraph. So where can Telegraph grab data from? Telegraph can grab data from almost anywhere you can think of, including IoT devices, databases, and HTTP endpoints. Today we're going to talk about three of our most used plugins, MQTT, SNMP, and Postgres. OK, let's start with MQTT. How do I configure Telegraph to get data from an MQTT endpoint? So you want to start with the MQTT consumer plugin, as you can see here in the double brackets. You're going to want to set your servers to wherever your broker is sending your messages to, your topics to wherever you're going to subscribe, your topic tag. Here we have it set at equal to topic. For example, you'll get topic equals to the topic that your data came from. If you omit this, that tag will be dropped altogether. We have QoS, which will default to 2, but Telegraph does support 0, 1, and 2. Our connection timeout, which is how long Telegraph will wait to connect to your broker. Here we have it set to 30 seconds. And the data format of the message being sent by your broker. In this example, JSON. And which are the necessary options? The three options you have to set are the servers, the topics, and your data format. The rest can be omitted and will automatically default. That's great. So how do I configure Telegraph to connect to my SNMP devices? For SNMP, you're going to want to use our SNMP plugin. You're going to start with the agents of where your SNMP data is going to flow through. Version, which will default to version 2, but Telegraph does support 1, 2, and 3. If using 3, you will have to set up your TLS certificate. You're going to set up your field with the OID and what you want to call that field any tables you would like, as well as their OIDs and their names. What's the difference between fields and tables? SNMP fields are going to be grabbed directly from their OID, and it's going to act a lot like the SNMP get command you would run, where tables are going to act just like the SNMP table command. You can also nest fields under tables, as long as that field belongs in the parent table. Awesome. Moving on to databases, how do I get data from Postgres? To get data from Postgres, you're going to want to use the PostgreSQL input plugin. You have two options. You could set your address this way with your host, user, and SSL mode. Or like this comment here, you can use a URL filling in your options that you prefer. And what's the output address option? Your output address is going to be the name of your database in Telegraph. If you don't set it, Telegraph will automatically choose one based on the address you set. And max life, what's that? Max life is how long you're going to stay connected to your database. If it's set to zero seconds, it will never disconnect unless there's a problem or you tell it to. And what's the difference between ignored database and databases? You cannot use them together. You have to pick one. Ignored databases is going to ignore what you list. In this example, template zero and temp. It'll pull data from all other databases you have where databases is going to ignore everything except what is listed, in this case, app and production. That's great, Maya. Thanks very much. I hope this helped. I can't wait to see what you build.